Alaska Airlines, a proud member of the One World Alliance, and there has been our pleasure serving you today. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you and take care. Good morning and welcome to Orange County. Today I'm flying Alaska Airlines 1106 up to Seattle. Join me on today's trip report and flight experience. Originally this was going to be an economy class review, but when I went to check in 24 hours before online, first class upgrades were available for $95. With no hesitation, I purchased the upgrade. At the end of the video, I hope to answer the question if the upgrade was worth it. This is the start of the Memorial Day weekend the unofficial start to summer in the U.S. And even at 6 a.m. and with TSA pre-check, there was already a line for me. However, it took no more than 10 minutes for me to get through TSA. Alaska Airlines 1106 is departing at 8 a.m., is on time so far, and will depart at gate 12, which is to the right. With some time to kill, let's check out the busy morning already here at SNA. Planes are lining up and begin flying at 7 a.m. due to the noise ordinances around this airport. Here's our plane being taxied in and will operate as Alaska Airlines 1106. It's a 14-year-old Boeing 737-800 with registration November 520 Alpha Sierra. It was delivered to Alaska Airlines February 19, 2009. There are 12 first-class seats in the first three rows, 30 premium economy seats, and 117 economy seats. There you can see all the gate check bags. No problem for me as I'll have all the room I want to store my little backpack. Welcome on board Alaska Airlines 1106 up to Seattle. Today I'll be seated in 2F, a window seat. There's a reason why I always take a letter F window seat when I fly up to Seattle from California. You'll see why later. Seats look a bit worn on this 14 year old plane but the seat's pretty comfortable. Those are not cartons of milk, but cartons of water, which I find to be an interesting concept. Taking a look at the seat features, this is not a lie flat seat. It is a recliner. That small box to the left of my foot will take a little bit of the space away. There is no IFE and actually nowhere to place and hold your device like in the economy section. They used to give out tablets for entertainment, but now you can use your own device to stream. It's a very comfortable 20.45 inches of width and 41 inches of pitch. The headrests are adjustable as you can see. And we do have personal air vents and three reading lights for the two seats. The tray table is stowed on the right side, so that reduces the seat width a tiny bit. You can move the tray a bit closer or farther away from you if you want. And it does fold open. However, it won't be completely flat because part of it bumps up against the center console where you can put your drinks. The tray is a good size though. You might be wondering where the power outlets are. 
they are in the center. There is one place to plug and one USB port available. Unfortunately, this is an old plane and old seats, so it's easy to spot the wear and tear, which is a bit unfortunate. There's some stains and some scratches, and some of the threading is loose. Being in first class today, it's nice to be seated in front of the wings for a change. So this will be my view for the next two and a half hours. We'll take off in a few moments. If you're not familiar, SNA has a 5,000 foot runway and a very strict noise ordinance due to the city surrounding the airport. So we'll rev up the engines and take off full power. You'll notice how quick we lift off and climb, so enjoy the takeoff from here.
finally above the marine layer and it should be a smooth ride all the way up to Seattle. It's going to be a beautiful day up and down the west coast, so there should be some great views of the mountains on this side. The flight attendant asked if we wanted anything to drink, so I ordered a coffee with some cream and sugar. The coffee is of course Starbucks. And it's served in an actual coffee mug. This morning we have one option for breakfast, the cold option. It comes with this granola with a small container of milk. We also have this fruit and grain bun and this packet of almond butter. Grapes, walnuts, and bunches of dried fruit like cranberries, pears, and other fruit also come along with it. And hey, we get real silverware too, so it's quite a bit of food. As you can see, there's not a lot of milk. I suppose I could have asked for more if I wanted. One of my hacks is to add the dried cranberries into the granola. You'll definitely thank me later. This meal is served looking out at the Sierra Nevadas. As you can see, we got a lot of snow this year, and it's good to still see a lot of snow on the Sierras, even though we're at the end of May. There we are, passing by Mono Lake. I'd really love to visit this part of California, as I've only flown over it, and find this to be a really neat area. Overall, I found this meal to be a pretty decent option for the cold option, and the fact that it's a two and a half hour flight. I was certainly not disappointed, and as you can see, I ate most of the food. With the breakfast tray cleared, I'm going to do a quick tour of the toilet before taking a quick nap. This is the toilet at the very front of the plane. The sink is a decent size and it looks like it was cleaned recently. It is a bit of a tight squeeze in here. Some of the toilets sometimes have mirrors to give the illusion of a bigger space. Looking up there, you can find the coat hook. The headroom's okay. I don't need to worry about bumping my head. Anyway, I'll head back to my seat and get a quick nap in. The other reason I love sitting on the right side of the plane going to Seattle is because as we get closer to Seattle, we can get some great views of Mount Rainier. However, since it's a bit too cloudy today, we'll only get to see the top of Rainier. Let's wrap up today's first class trip report on Alaska Airlines 1106. First, it was nice to have an upgrade option at check-in, and since I paid for the ticket with flight credits from earlier, this $95 that I paid extra was definitely an added value. Second, the flight attendants serving us up front were very attentive and greeted us by first name when they took our order. The service was great. Third, the food was pretty good, and a lot in terms of portion and substance. And fourth, even though the seats are showing their age, I found them to be still fairly comfortable. So was the $95 worth it for this two and a half hour flight? I would say yes. All that to say, Enjoy the landing and welcome to Seattle, Washington.
for information about connecting flights, you can check the monitors inside the terminal or use the Alaska Airlines mobile app. On behalf of all of us at Alaska Airlines, a proud member of the One World Alliance, it has been our pleasure serving you today. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you and take care. Thanks for joining me on this trip report and flight experience on Alaska Airlines 1106 from Orange County to Seattle. See you next time. <laughs>